anyway, let's give it up for our next roaster who couldn't be here in person, but is uh, going to uh, I- I- who record a video remotely. Give it up for Stavros, everybody. <laughs> Hell yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm stoked to be here. I uh, wish I could be there in person with you guys. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, um, I'm not the guy who owns the diner by Hassan. I'm his friend, a comedian, Stavros, uh, Stavros Halkius. I'm, I'm excited to be here. And I'm really thankful that Austin, that you invited me to be on this roast. And um, in fact, before we start the jokes, I just want to, I want to seriously commend you. You know, um, I think it was really brave of you to come out of the closet to deflect from the fact that you were doing brown face on this platform for years. So, kudos to you um, for pulling a Kevin Spacey. You also uh, pull a Spacey move every time uh, you interview Minecraft streamers, by the way. I mean, come on, dude. Could you do something less creepy? Like, I don't know, drive a windowless van full of ring pops and condoms around? Uh, thank you for putting this together, Austin. I know you're short on time today. I, I heard your boyfriend just got his braces taken off. Um, you know, although, to be honest, a lot of people say Austin's gay, and I, I'm not sure Austin is actually gay. Gay men tend to dress well and be entertaining. <laughs> Austin dresses like a closeted Tampa jet ski dealer. I don't know if you guys know this, but the man of the hour, our boy Hassan, oh, no. uh, he once jacked off using a basketball. <laughs> Side note, Austin just changed his name again. It's Spalding now. <laughs> um, anyway, why don't we move on? Huh? Let's move on from the gayest guy at the roast to the one who seems the gayest. From jail bait to gay bait, let's move on to Will Neff, everyone. Yes. Uh, at least I think that's Will Neff. It, it could be the singer of a Creed cover band. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, Will, Will has actually sent in audition tapes to SNL, which is really interesting. They're actually the most disturbing deliveries 30 Rockefeller Plaza has received since they got anthrax in the mail. <laughs> Will, uh, Will used to work for BuzzFeed, right? We all know that. Uh, here's a little BuzzFeed quiz. Uh, which mediocre streamer who wouldn't have a career without Hassan are you? <laughs> Trick question. The answer is always Will Neff. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, yeah. Let's let's also give another shout out to our boy Hassan. Very strong. The guy's lifting weights all the time, uh, and he's he's actually really strong. I mean, he carries 250 pounds of useless sidekick every day with him. So. <laughs> Salute to you, Hassan. Uh, why don't we move on to Cutie? Cutie Cinderella, you're very funny. I watched some of these roasts. You're really good at this. Uh, I even checked out your YouTube channel. And I have to say, your YouTube channel answers the question, what if a boring reality show had the production value of my mom's FaceTime calls? <laughs> Seriously, though, Cutie, you are very inspiring. I mean, if you're hot enough to have a career on Twitch, that is great news for divorced waitresses everywhere. <laughs> Really cute. You, you're almost hot enough to play Eminem's mom in an off-Broadway production of Eight Mile. Uh, no, but of course, you know, being a Tampa Six isn't why she's doing well, right? We all know that. Cutie is dating a way more popular streamer, Ludwig. Uh, yes, Cutie is one of the rare people to sleep her way to the top by fucking a bottom. So, congrats for that. Cutie was recently tweeting in support of Britney Spears. And I think we can all agree, if there has to be one talentless blonde imprisoned by her father, it should be you, cutie. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course. Brittany is incredibly talented. You know, cutie, if, if you're going to be an average-looking blonde with no charisma and boring streams, the least you could do is have huge fake tits. Um, so speaking of which, Candyland, right? Uh, Candy Lane, I don't understand how you have a following. I mean, I guess your number one demographic is men who have not heard of pornography. Is that right? I mean, let's be honest. If it wasn't for horny 11-year-olds with parental controls on their Wi-Fi, you'd be grinding up horse meat for Ikea meatballs right now. <laughs> Candy Lane reminds me of another Swedish uh, production, Midsummer. Uh, and by that, I mean, I would rather jump off a hundred foot cliff than watch one of her streams. She calls herself Candyland. Judging by your tits, I'm guessing it's a hard candy. Really, who, who did those things? Your titties look like they're filled to the brim with Werther's Originals. <laughs> I don't know. I guess maybe boob jobs are cheaper in Sweden because you assemble them yourself. Anyway, that's enough misogyny for now, right? Uh, let's move on to Mo. 
Mo, I'll be honest, I'm not that familiar with your work. I have gotten pussy before. So, uh, but from what I can tell, you make content for 100 Thieves, but they never let you play in the real games. Is that right? I guess you're basically the equipment manager of an esports team. Tough. Must be tough to get it stuffed into a virtual locker every day. If the good players on 100 Thieves had any upper body strength, they'd give you a wedgie. Uh, Mo, you're like the Michael Jordan of League of Legends in the sense that you're hard to work with and you're a full-blown gambling addict. I mean, I've seen some of these videos where you're flipping out. Mo has the rage only a virgin can possess. Uh, I'm confident the only thing you've ever smashed is a mechanical keyboard. <laughs> Mo, you're not good enough to be on an esports team, yet you named yourself after a League of Legends character. That's kind of like Hassan choosing to call himself Rachel Maddow. <laughs> Let's go to Jake. Uh, again, Jake, I'm sorry. I don't really know your stuff too much. Um, from what I can tell, Jake is a weeb. Uh, weeb, of course, standing for white, extremely effeminate bitch. <laughs> Jake, I saw you playing basketball with Hassan and Mo, and you're honestly one of the better streamer basketball players. Uh, which is kind of like being the streamer who's the best at finding the clitoris, though, if we're being honest. <laughs> Jake, uh, everyone seems to think you're a cool guy, but I don't know, man. Anytime a generic-looking white guy moves to Asia to get pussy, I don't trust it, right? I mean, there's no way you're not a sex criminal. <laughs> Seriously, Jake went to China for college, uh, Japan to stream, and next he's going to Thailand to avoid extradition. <laughs> When COVID hit, that put a stop to your streaming temporarily, Jake. So maybe all the deaths were worth it, right? <laughs> Silver lining. <laughs> Why don't we move on to the one person at this roast that deserves any admiration, and that's Sasha. Huh, Sasha? I just want to say, as someone who looks like he directs amateur pornography, I have nothing but respect for you. Okay. Uh, seriously, you're the only person who, here who's ever had an actual job. You're the only person who ever worked for a living. Uh, Sasha, I've seen you lick a toilet on camera, and this is still the most degrading thing you've ever done online. <laughs> Sasha likes to call herself uncle. Folks, now, that's one uncle I wouldn't mind getting molested by. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, really, though, Sasha, this is the biggest collection of douchebags you've ever associated with since you were on Entourage. <laughs> this roast is beneath you, honestly. The other people on this day is haven't done as much for the world with their entire body of work as you've done with your anus. Speaking of assholes, True. why don't we go to the big Turkish one that we're all here for today, Hassan. Uh -oh. Hassan, buddy. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Wish I could be there in person roasting you. Um, but I do have some thoughts, right? Hassan, like I mentioned before, Hassan used to jack off by rubbing a basketball on his penis. Um, which for a Twitch streamer makes you a varsity athlete, basically. <laughs> um, I have to hand it to you though, Hassan. You've made a career by being the smartest Twitch streamer, which is kind of like being the least homophobic man in Turkey. <laughs> Hassan, I gotta say, it is cool that you came on this platform full of horny alt-right teenagers and are covering the news from a left perspective. I think it's cool. I think it's good that you did that, but why do you gotta dress like that? Seriously, <laughs> dog, you're too old for the aesthetic. Uh, you were really good at playing Among Us with AOC. I think because your entire life is nothing but playing Among Us with your Gen Z viewers, right? <laughs> oh, uh, maybe if I wear this choker with a lock on it, they won't realize I'm 30. <laughs> they'll, they'll realize, buddy, okay? You dress like a bully on Euphoria. I mean, you dress like the kind of bully that would give you a swirly for using the wrong pronouns. <laughs> uh, you look like you're going undercover to bust a high school Xanax ring. <laughs> You dress like a guy who sex traffics TikTokers. <laughs> oh, Maybe when you get your learner's permit, you should come over here and, and we could do the bus at challenge together. <laughs> That's what you dress like, by the way. You're not that guy. Uh, but seriously, you do. Seriously, there's more. There's more jokes about how you dress, by the way. You do dress. Uh, you dress like a youth pastor that does ketamine, Hassan. <laughs> You know, you're going to have a heart attack one day and be like, get my pills. You know the fucking vibes. <laughs> Hassan, you can wear four rings on your hand at once. It's not bringing back your early 20s, dude. I'm sorry. With all those rings on your hand at once, you look like the Thanos of whining about Ben Shapiro. <laughs> you look like you vape your ED medicine. <laughs> 
All right, enough about your fucking style. Um, I got to give it to you, though, buddy. You are very successful. As far as Twitch goes, you're incredibly successful. You are a proud Turk, though. I will give that to you. Uh, one time you told me most Turks lose their virginity to prostitutes. And you're such a patriot, you still only fuck whores. <laughs> True. Good guy. Uh, Hassan lives with his mom, which is nice. But isn't a part of you ashamed, you know, that you make this sweet woman sleep under the same roof where you're getting pegged? <laughs> I mean, really, this poor lady's had a long day of boiling donkey meat or, you know, whatever Turks eat. And down the hall, you're moaning while a girl on her night off from OnlyFans is eating your ass. Seems a little disrespectful. No. But anyway, buddy, uh, love you. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Austin, for inviting me. And uh, to all the nice people that I don't know that I said horrific things about, sorry, but... Uh, wish I could have said it to your face in person, but <laughs> thanks guys. And, uh, have a good rest of the roast. Give it up for Stavros. Give it up for Stavros. He couldn't be here. He's all the way in New York, but unbelievable job.